Hello again, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support and in this video I'm in CorelDRAW and I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to select the color from a color palette, any color palette. We're going to use one of our, our partial um, of our True Match color palette. This is just one page of several pages that I have here. True Match color palette. You can do this with any color palette. We're going to choose a color from the color palette and we're going to apply it um, in this circle here. And the reason we're going to do this video is so that you are, we demonstrate how for our users to apply a color by selecting a color in a color palette and applying it to uh, a graphic of your choice be done the same way. So this is a simple dem demonstration using just a circle over here to the right of my color palette. I'm going to walk you through how to select a color. You could do this with an RGB uh, palette, a CMYK, a Pantone, any color palette, a grayscale, anything you want. So applying that color to a specific object in Corel Draw. Let's do it. All right. So first off, Let's zoom in just a little bit here so that we can see these colors a little better. Okay, uh, I'm just going to scroll and we're going to use this color palette over to my left of the circle. And we'll just use one of these colors here because it's going to be done the same way with any one of these blocks of color. Okay, so first of all, let's add the color. To our color palette. Over here to my right I have an RGB color palette. Now you can do this with uh, CMYK, whatever color palette you choose. We recommend RGB so I'm going to demonstrate with RGB. Now over here to my right I have the eyedropper. I can click this eyedropper here or I'll, I can also click it to the left over here in my tools. What this tool does it gives us the value of the color. It also, by clicking it here, this is one way to add it to the color palette. So let's go here. Let's click this color palette, I mean this eyedropper, and let's go over here and grab a color, any color, and we're going to grab this value here. And once I click it, it's going to add to my color palette over here to the right. Okay, you're going to see this color palette jump just a little bit. All right, so we're going to choose this value, which is an RGB value, 154, 7, and 26. Okay, so we're going to click it, and now we've added it to our color palette here. And there it is right there. Um, now, in order to apply this color to this particular object, and we can pretend this is an object uh, that you've selected in your graphic. It doesn't have to be as simple as this, but the rules apply uh, with any object that you would be using on your end. Okay, we're going to use this circle and we're going to click this circle and we're going to add that value color that we just added to our color palette to that circle. Now if I just, right, I'm sorry, left click on this color block, I fill it you can see that this is the fill and down here at the bottom it proves that we have added that value that we selected from our chart over here and it's added to the fill color now I have this stroke here if I want to um, apply the same color stroke as I have the fill I'd hover over this color and right click and I've also changed the the stroke as well. So the stroke matches the fill. Or I can just come up here and right click on this white box with an X in it and get rid of the stroke. Now I have no stroke. But that's how we choose a color from a color palette. We can even add it to our color swatches here to the right and then apply it to an object in our graphic. That's how we do that. We can do it with any color palette and with any version of Corel. If you have any questions on this method, feel free to send me an email or give us a call here at Condi. We'll be happy to talk to you about it. Again, my name is Vicki, and thank you.